Hopefully you guys can see it. I don't know. Uh, maybe. Yeah, there's real fine shavings sitting in there on that black piece there. Contact! Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to HR Repair. This is Hay Ray. Today, we have <laughs> possibly an interesting development. We've had a car that got towed in to us from about 45 minutes away. The customer was driving home late last night, and uh, this Hyundai started to knock and has a misfire uh, flashing check engine light. So she got it towed here. And if you know anything about these high-end motors, you know that this may or may not be an interesting repair. We may or may not need this. So, stay tuned and we'll see what we can figure out on this thing. Because this may possibly be a very quick diagnosis. Okay, so what the customer stated was that she was driving along... She passed someone, it started to misfire, and she said it has a knock at idle. It also has a, like when she accelerates, the knock is not quite as bad. Uh, it has a flashing check engine light, said it shakes, which I understand. She thought that the oil level still looked good, so we're going to pop the hood here. Before we start it, we're going to check the oil level just to make sure because I don't want to make the problem yet worse than what it already is if it's an oil-related issue. I'm just going to kind of take a look down here. I don't really see any massive amounts of oil sticking out or coming out of the side. So let's just check our oil level here. I was looking for an inspection hole in the side of the block, in case you're wondering. Okay. The oil level is right up there where it needs to be. Now, the other thing, since this is a direct injected motor, we could have a problem with, uh, with an injector. Very possible. So let's go ahead and start this thing. Let's see what we get. Starting the engine. Well, it doesn't sound absolutely terrible, but it does have the flashing check engine light, which means it's a catalytic converter damaging misfire. So let's, uh, I mean, this doesn't sound bad. Okay, let's go ahead and let's just uh, hook up the scan tool. All right, let's see what the codes are. Knock, signal, range, performance. Oop. Okay, yeah, it's going to cause that because it's trying to protect the engine. So let's just do this. See if we clear the codes, if this will uh, allow the engine to run different or if the knock will come back. So on these motors they have an like hyundai actually has a did have an extended warranty program on these things because the engines will um randomly there's a defect in the engines that they still i don't know that they've still fixed the problem uh but there's a random uh problem with these motors that will randomly destroy themselves Yep, it is a base engine problem. See, this thing has a rod knock. I don't know if you guys can hear it or not. I'm gonna put the microphone up there. It has 
a bad motor. <sighs> this thing has self-destructed just like every other motor out there. I could probably pull it in there and pull it inside and we'll pull the filter apart and let's see what we get in the filter. But my guess would be we're going to find shavings in the filter. Not good. I don't know why they don't fix this problem. Come on. Sometimes my remote doesn't work the best. So I don't, there, there's some, somewhere there's a manufacturing defect in, in these motors and they will suddenly de self-destruct uh, with no warning at all. Some will run longer than others, uh, you know, and it can be full of oil. They can do everything right and still have the problem. Okay, so this one, she uses good oil because she uses mine. And the oil level's good as you guys can see. And it's still self destructed. So let's come in here. I'm going to check the. Uh, filter on this and we'll see what we come up well I have called the Hyundai dealership and as soon as I gave him that phone and as soon as I gave him that code he knew exactly where I was headed with this so he said he looked it up we looked up the VIN number and this car has got a lifetime warranty on the motor so this car is going back to Hyundai. They're going to put a new motor in this thing and send the customer on its way. So as much as I, as much as I ragged about Hyundai, they are at least taking care of the customer. So can't complain about that. They're getting this thing replaced. They're going to pay for the tow bill here. And I think they'll pay for the tow bill to Hyundai as well. So uh, no cost to the customer. Hyundai's covering everything. So this one's going to end well. The customer's going to be happy. I'm going to send it off to the dealership and all's well that ends well. So short little video, not a whole lot of diagnosing going on. We did uh, look through, I didn't actually take the filter apart, but we did look into the top of the cap and there are shavings setting in there on top of the cap. So I'm going to show you guys that. Hopefully you guys can see it. I don't know. Uh, maybe. Yeah, there's real fine shavings sitting in there on that black piece there. I'll try to get it to focus. I don't know. This could be pretty tough. Enhance. As South Main Auto says. Yeah, you can see it there. So, yeah. I guess we'll uh, send this one on down the road. This is not going to be repaired by me, and that's okay. Do what's best for the customer, and a free new motor is going to be better than uh, me doing this myself. So this is going to help, uh, yeah, it's going to help her out a lot because this could be an expensive repair if I had to do it and charge her for it. So anyway. Uh, enough rambling. I'll send you guys on the way and thank you for watching. Thank you for being here. Remember, if you've got a Hyundai and it suddenly starts knocking and has a flashing check engine light, don't run it anymore. Get it towed because yours may have a lifetime warranty. Not guaranteeing, but it might be. So be sure and get your VIN number, call the dealer and find out because they can tell you. That's all I did with this customer, or for this customer. So, anyway, thank you for watching. Thank you for being here. As always, I want you guys to have yourselves a wonderful day. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Helps me out tremendously. Doesn't cost you guys anything. Bye!